The sign on the old pool introduces us to Park Gate and Mealers for a display of Park Gate shrimps. Except for fashions and hundreds of cars, the front at Park Gate has hardly changed over the years. The little car takes us to Burton, a quiet village even today. About 1950, there's not a car to be seen. It was an undisturbed, picturesque rural village. The church tower is noted for its one-finger clock. Port Sunlight at the same time was an equally quiet village built for workers at his local soap factory by Lord Leverhulme. The first houses were built in 1888. Do you recognize any of these young cricketers of over 40 years ago? The Lady Lever Art Gallery was built by the first Lord Leverhulme in memory of his wife, the foundation stone being laid by King George V in 1914 and the building opened by Princess Beatrice in 1922. The War Memorial. Many a romance blossomed at the weekly Saturday night hop in the Hume Hall. West Kirby Lake has always been a pleasant place for a sail with the West Kirby Sailing Club based alongside. In 1950, the lake was only half its present size. It also contained a swimming pool area which has been closed many years. Half a mile away, a peaceful scene in West Kirby Old Village. Now to Thurstaston on the Chester High Road. Let's follow a cycle race to see how the roads of Wirral have changed. Passing the Cottage Loaf, famous for its afternoon teas in the 50s, we head for Arrow Park Gates, along the road towards Upton, passing the future site of Arrow Park Hospital. We pass through Irby Village. It's a steep climb up Black Horse Hill, West Kirby. Finally, we're back to Thurstaston and the finishing line. Three winners, but who were they? Three targets mark the site of Wirral Archers near Barnston. The ladies seem well matched against the men. The winner's trophy includes the Wirral horn, a symbol for Wirral.